So we had been at winter camp for a week in this really small town in Germany. If I had been asked to come to uh, teach about contemplation and to sort of teach our main class where we were going to experience contemplation and talk about that and share in that and experience that together. And during the week, we had the opportunity to fellowship with a large group of refugees uh, who were in the same town. And they came over one night to where our camp was, and we had an evening of fellowship. We shared food, and we played games, and we tried to learn about each other and each other's culture and share stories. And it was a really meaningful, impactful part of the week. And we also had two of our campers were also refugees. There was Raybar from Syria and Angela from Albania. And they had just recently moved, within the year, had recently moved to Germany. And so they were also refugees. And some of our church folks there had been uh, working with them and getting to know them and invited them to come to camp for the week. And so they were there and it was just incredible to be able to share with them and again get to know them and hear their stories. And at our closing worship, it was really simple. We were just gathered around all of us uh, in a circle around a table, and there were just some, a few candles, a few little candles going, and we were singing the song, Peace, Salam, Shalom. And so often when we sing these songs, I think they're great and they're inspiring and the music is powerful and it moves us, but we sing these songs as... Um, hopes or as dreams or of what could be. Uh, But in that moment, we were singing Peace, Salam, Shalom, and I looked around and we had people from Germany, from England, from Syria and Albania and from the United States. And I was thinking back over the week in our fellowship experiences. And in that moment, as I tried to imagine what these people, what their lives were like, the violence, the horror that they've seen that I can't even imagine. And as we were singing that song, it became so real. The moment became real. And it was not, we weren't singing of peace that we would hope for in the future. We were singing of peace that was real right then in that moment. And as I gave myself over to the moment uh, fully and kind of uh, just closed my eyes and embraced the moment, I, there was this incredible sense of safety. I felt so safe in that group. Um, and the diversity was real in that group. The unity was real in that group. But God was real in that group, and the peace was real in that group, and the kingdom was made real in that group. And and it just wasn't a song anymore. It was more than a song. It was the moment, and it was real, and that, you know, was incredible.